Welcome to Bite Size. My name is Vaida Hijoshi, and today I'm gonna to tell you about Herman Hollerith. So Herman Hollerith was an inventor who lived back in the 1800s, and he was living in the US at the time, and he worked on something really interesting, the American census. He was working on the American census in, the, in 1880, and also I think 1890. He found this task to be pretty massive. Tallying up all the people who lived in the United States in the 1880s was kind of hard because they were using pen and paper. Herman Hollerith, being the ingenious young inventor that he was, came up with a better solution. He created a machine, which we now know today as the Hollerith machine, named after him, in order to help make this process a little better and easier and automate it. The Hollerith machine had two sections. It involved punch cards, which were used for holding and recording the data, and it involved a tabulator, which took the punch cards and sorted and tallied up all the data that was collected on them. Something that used to take 10 years in order to tally up all that data with his machine ended up only taking about three months. In 1901, he decided that he could actually take it a step further and use his machine to sort the, the punch cards by columns specifically. In order to sort by columns, what Hollerith realized he needed to do was to sort each punch card one at a time. So he would sort a punch card by the items in one column and then reinsert the punch card and tabulate and sort again by the next column. And in doing this, he realized oh, I can actually create an algorithm to do this. And the al algorithm would involve multiple passes, wherein every single pass would be focused on sorting by a single column, by a single digit, which is also known as a radix. This multiple pass algorithm of sorting by each digit or radix is actually how the very first sorting algorithm, called radix sort, was born. Hollerith's work on his machine the Hollerith machine, as well as the sorting algorithm that he developed, led to him founding his very own company, the Tabulating Machine Company, which was later renamed to the Computer Tabulating Recording Company. And he ended up staying, and staying on and working at his company as an engineer for the rest of his life. And in 1924, that same company was later renamed to be International something something, uh, Let's just call it IBM. All of this is thanks to Herman Hollerith and his desire to sort more efficiently and quickly. His work on his machine and his algorithm and his company and what it became ended up having a huge impact on computing history and changing it completely. Thanks, Herman. Coming up next, a quick word from our sponsors, plus a preview of the next episode of Bite Sized. Hi there, I'm Ben, founder of Dev, and this is my colleague Ruby. Today's episode of Bite Size was sponsored by Heroku, which we use at Dev to power our site. It scales up, it scales down, it really gets out of the way when we need it to. I left an article below the video really going into the nuance of why we use it, why you might want to use it for your company or your personal project, and I hope you check that out. Thanks to Heroku for being a sponsor of this whole video series. It's been really, really helpful. And now a preview of the next episode of Bite Sized. What do you think, Ruby? Thoughts? Heroku? Ruby? I thought so. Hello. Welcome to Bite Sized. My name is Vaida Hijoshi, and I want to tell you about someone named Edgar Dijkstra and his very famous Ooh. algorithm. So Edgar Dijkstra was a computer scientist who came up with some of the most interesting solutions to some of the most difficult computer science problems. Well, that's gonna be fun, I'm gonna mess that up. Tabulating Machine Company, right? Yeah, Tabulating Machine Company. Tabulating Machine Company, Computer Tabulating. Recording. So Tabulating Machine Company. Computer Tabulating. What's the full name of IBM? It's too many names. <laughs> <laughs> Tabulating machine company. Oh. <laughs>